Okay, so we're gonna go over your homework from last night if you want to get out your sheets. Uh, a couple questions I noticed we did pretty poorly on. First question we're gonna look at is this one here. Three to the negative second times three to the negative eight. Common wrong answer was one over nine to the tenth. What's wrong with one over nine to the tenth? They multiply three times three, but you're just supposed to add zero. Yeah, why don't we multiply the three times the three? Mm -hmm. Because the next one is just saying that's number times that many times. If you just add the exponents because you're just multiplying that number that many more times. Good, okay. You want to they're like germs, so you don't you don't have to change them. Okay. What do we call this three? Yeah? Constant. No? No, wait, no. Base. Base. The three is the base. So it's not really a three though. Right? Because it's really a three squared. And is that the same thing as three to the eighth? No. No. So we can't really multiply the bases together. So what should this answer be? Three to the negative tenth, right? Because negative two plus negative eight is negative ten. Or should we write as one over three to the tenth? Okay. That was number four, I believe. How many questions were there? Twenty. That was number four. But now let's take a look at this question here. This is 5a to the third times 5a to the negative fifth. Common wrong answer here was 1 over 5a to the negative second. What's wrong there? Yeah. Um, the 5, if you multiply 5 by a uh, to the Negative second, mm -hmm. so the five is positive, you put it on the top. Okay, so you think it should be five over a to the second? Which was another common wrong answer. What's still wrong about this answer? Yeah? You have to multiply the fives. Why are we multiplying the fives? So distributing the property? No, not the distributive property. They're not bases. Good, they're not bases. Here, the three is actually the base of that power. What's the 5 here? Constant. Not the constant. What do we call that? The coefficient? So because it's not part of the base, we can multiply together. What rule allows me to multiply those together? Property. Commutative property. I can actually rewrite this as 5 times 5 times a to the third times a to the negative fifth, right? Because that's not actually part of the power. Yep. Is the homework supposed to tell us if we're right or wrong? Yeah, mine told me if I was right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. that's why you're all here with me now. Okay, so let's keep going over this and then we can talk about that. So what, let's finish this problem. So 5 times 5 is 25. Now what's going to be the next part of this? Yep. Um, a to the third plus a to the negative fifth, which would be a to the negative second. A to the negative second. So then how do I rewrite this using only positive exponents? Yep. Uh, 25 over a squared. 25 over a squared. Okay. So we see the difference here, base versus coefficient? Okay. Another question that was pretty ugly. Oh, it's a 11g squared divided by g to the negative fourth. Where do I start? Mm -hmm. um, you can put 11g squared on the top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have to do g squared minus g to the negative fourth. Okay. Let's so always minus. start with the coefficients. Let's always start with the numbers. So we have 11 here. So does anything happen to the 11? No, so our 11 is going to keep continue over into our answer. We don't have to simplify that. What's the rule when you're dividing powers? Um, you have to subtract. subtract what? Uh, exponents. exponents. So let's actually write that down. 2 minus negative 4. What's 2 minus negative 4? Positive 
6. So 11g to the 6th. And do I need to do anything to that answer? No, nope, because it already has a positive exponent. Common wrong answer here was 11 over g to the 2nd. What's wrong with that? What do, what do people do wrong? Yeah? Um, they... Um, they... Did... Ne uh, negative 4 minus 2? Yeah, somehow that subtraction problem got messed up. So that's why I'm going to really encourage you to write out that subtraction piece so you can see it a little bit more clearly and hopefully catch your mistakes there. And let's look at this other one. This one was zero, no, 3% correct. 3%. Is that just sharp clash or? Nope, I don't know. All, all three algebra. 3x to the third divided by 10x to the negative third. Common wrong answer, I'll tell you, was one half. So let's see how we can come up with one half and why that's wrong. Yep. Um, that you divide 10 by 5. Well, let's remember, we can break up this fraction as 5, to the, five tenths times x to the third over x to the negative third. So you can separate out the coefficients, right? How do you simplify 5, 5 tenths? One half. One half. Right? Okay. And now what do I do with those exponents? Yeah? They have to subtract negative 3 from 3. So 3 minus negative 3. What is 3 minus negative 3? Positive 6. Positive 6. So where does my x to the 6 go? In the numerator. And again, we don't usually use coefficients of 1. So really, this is x to the 6th over 2. 1x to the 6th is, is not wrong, but we don't usually use the coefficient of that one. Yep. So what went wrong to get 1 half? They saw that it was 3 and negative 3, and they thought you could add them together if it be easier, so the yeah. range still means that zero. Yeah. Again, we have to be really, really careful with that subtraction piece. Yep. I. I my computer told me to put it around and had hint buttons, and I didn't know that wasn't. I did the wrong thing, so I pressed hint. And my friend Nick checks me later. Um, uh, how do you do that? What do you, what's the answer to the problem? And I tell him what what I had, and then I he asked, you I gave said, him the no, answer. No, no. Uh, I I stuck him through, and he said I still don't get it. So I walked him backwards. But he said he kept saying no. It, one half, but... Okay, so, so no, you, but now you can explain it, right? When you subtract the x one, 3 minus negative 3 is positive 6. All right, so those were the four that were, as a class, awful. What other questions do we have? Any other ones that you got wrong that you want to look at together? Nope, yep. What'd you find? Number 12. Okay, so we have 2 to the 5th divided by 2 to the 7th. What's the rule when we're dividing powers? So 5 minus 7 equals negative 2. So this is 2 to the negative second power. And how do we rewrite that using only positive exponents? Um, one over two. There you go. The other thing that you could do with this kind of a problem is that, I mean, this is using the shortcut method. You could always go back to our original method where you list it out. Right? And then cross off. Okay? So that method will always work as well. Oh, that's what I need to see that problem. Good. Yeah, sometimes to do it to check. To double check? Awesome. Any other questions? Fabulous.